Welcome everybody to the winter of disease and death. Yeah, yeah, the guy said that. Uh, we're here though in the basement with our little master grade uh, Gundam RX-78 II from the Origins. Uh, very cool little version of it, I like it. The gorilla hands are a little funky, but it's a nice little, nice little robot there. So that, we're gonna put him aside. It's kinda like a cooking show. We're just gonna put that over here now, and then magically, boom, the dinner's ready. That's not how this channel works. You guys are expecting any instant gratification. You're in the wrong damn place. Um, also, earmuffs. If you got kids around, I do happen to drop a little profanity from time to time, but this is an adult channel for adults. Okay? Or at least man children. People over the age of 18. Look at this! Wah! Yeah! 148 scale Gundam Factory robot! This thing is awesome! I should just keep this in the box and in 10 years I could sell it for a grand. Because I hear the robot's actually going away. Like next year. Which is very soon. But who knows? <clears throat> Either way, it's, you know, it's giant scale, a 148th. Uh, the detail looks to be somewhat better, probably, than one of your regular jumbo. What's the, what's the grade? There's a uh, master, uh, high grade, the perfect grade, and a master grade, the perfect grade, and then the next size up is gi giant jumbo mega, mega size. Mega size. That's it. That's what we're looking for. So, yeah, so, um, the, a lot of people got the bust, you know, just the top, top of, above the waist. You know, but I wanted, I wanted the whole, the whole kit and caboodle here. So my plastic crack dealer in Colorado, who has the hookup over on the little islands there across the ocean, he managed to source one for me at a very modest price for what this thing's going for normally on eBay. Um, lots and lots of runners, big pieces, yes. That's nice, and there's an LED unit right there. You do get one LED unit. <clears throat> we might want to put more than one in here, but yeah, these are large pieces. So this this feels to me like like it's a little a little uh, since the parts are so giant, there's just a bajillion friggin' runners in here. I'm thinking there's gonna be somewhere quality wise between a high grade and a master grade uh, the finished product. Uh, we're not going to, I mean, a lot of, ooh, you can custom paint this guy if you, I don't know. I'm just going to build it straight out of the box. I, I don't like messing around with the custom paint on Gunpla um, for the simple fact is these are my relaxing models to build. Snap them together, you know, do maybe some panel lining, a little, you know, dull coat, done. I don't even decal half my things. You know, this, this little guy right here, he's butt naked. <clears throat> Nothing there, so... Uh, that being said, uh, we're going to get to building, and uh, if I have any memorable moments during this build, I will of course share them with you by ranting and screaming and cursing about them. Um, but we should get to the end of this pretty quickly, and you see what this monster looks like. Um, but yeah, wish, wish me luck. Okay, I'll be back. Well, here's something a little interesting. <clears throat> this shares, at least... For the upper half we're starting on it shares a bunch of runners with the bust model so this is the bust you get the same exact thing from the waist up with the bust um this just has the rest of the damn robot also this plastic is not <clears throat> as far as i can tell so far identifying itself as polystyrene or what have you it feels like, it's definitely polystyrene, I think, but the problem is, I started with the USA Gundam store nippers, which, these are, these are good. Hell of a lot better than Tamiya nippers. These are just for grunt work. Um, then I switched over to the Dispay, uh, you know, newest, latest, greatest from Dispay, and I'm still getting some white marks, because I like to do a single cut off the runner. Of course, we had to go to the God Hands. They do it perfect. They're just that much better. And then for, for cleaning up any mess, my wife got me, uh, one of the gun primer racer nanophiles for Christmas. So, um, ah, well, well, we're bragging anyway. I mean, this is not a brag. Uh, Medworks, $50 airbrush from, uh, I forget if it was a new type or USA Gundam store or whatever, but we're gonna, this is a 0.5 nozzle for doing big things. 
So we're gonna try this out at some point. Maybe when we uh, clear this giant behemoth, uh, we'll use it. But yeah, that was it. So it shares with the bus model and it doesn't identify its, its plastic. And dear God, look at all the friggin' giant poly caps. Oh boy, yeah, this is more of a more of a high grade or a very early, early master grade level build. But there's a lot of little bits and pieces going in here. Um, I recommend gluing some of them, of course. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna shut up and get back to work. Oh boy, a lot of parts. Mmm. Ah. Um, this kit has very nice color separation. But with color separation comes many more parts. Okay? Am I doing that right, guys? Is that how it works? Um, not a ton of articulation. The joints are elbow up. This is as far as the arm tilts out. That's it. Um, you have rotation. You have a single bend at the elbow. This is a statue. I mean, it's just an awesome looking statue. So we've got two thirds of the bust done, I guess. Um, you know, nice. It's, it's, it's pretty damn nice. You got some little clear colored plastic bits there. You got clear colored plastic in the head and the, the front camera, the eyes, um, the always shitty Bandai LED unit that doesn't work for squat. Um, I gotta find like one of the Chinese knockoffs. I think they work a little better. Um, so either way, uh, yeah, we'll be back at it. I, this is gonna take a while, and I think it's dinner time. So either way, I'm here all week, people. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna get back to this, but I mean, just size comparison is a little bit bigger. It's it's pretty nice. I like building. I like big butts, and I cannot. Lie. Oh, boy. I've done that before. Okay, we'll be back. <clears throat> There's definitely some tasks I enjoy less than building individually opposable um, maneuverable fingers on a Gundam. Um, very few things I enjoy less, but very few things I enjoy posing more than individually posable fingers on a Gundam. Yeah, okay. Double birds every... Again, not a children, children's channel. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, oh, God. So we've basically got the bust mostly done, I guess, if this was just the bust model. Uh, so the rest of the rest of this fella is gonna be all undiscovered country from the waist down. Um, as, I mean, I'm sure someone's done a build video on one of these. But yeah, we're going through it. Um, again, great color separation, lots of subtly different shades. There's two different shades of red that, yeah, that's coming up on camera. There's a lot of subtle different shades of color. You got the whites and the grays and the the it's greenish, brownish, greenish, grayish color, and the blacks, and it's nice, and the yellows, and the two, two different blues. It, it's looking spiffy. A lot of nice definition there on the head. It's cool. It's very cool. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, good. Time for waists and then leg day. Everyone's least favorite part. Why do they put the legs at the end? They should put the arms and legs in the beginning, and then you build the torso and the waist and the head as the last bit. Because everyone enjoys building the head. Who doesn't love head? Oh yeah, that didn't sound right. Either way, you know what I mean. Okay, back to work. More building. And more beer. Cheers. Hey, look at that. We're now past the bus model. We've got a crotch. No crotch rockets on this one. But we've got nice flappity flaps. The flappity flaps move. Double premium butt flaps, as one of the other YouTube Gundam commenters, reviewers, whatever you want to call. Whatever you want to call the freak show that is the Gundam YouTube community. I mean, you got the boring ones, you got the weird goth they them ones, you got you got the in-between. Honestly, my favorite my favorite Gundam-ish, my, my favorite Gundam adjacent person, probably Karakot 197. Like, I like his little uh, forays into, you know, the production of... He just did a couple videos on, like, some gyms and some Zaku Commander types, and I like his videos. His his videos are really good. Zaku Aurelius, I mean, he's, he's one of the staples. Um, he's now living in Florida, 
Ah, congratulations! Welcome back to the real America, which is the South. Uh, yeah, we'll get to, get to that later. But, um, you know, he's working for USA Gundam Store. Probably a dream job for him. I'm happy for him. His videos, he's just a little... Ah, not animated enough. He doesn't... He doesn't seem to have enough of an opinion about anything. Everything's sort of like, yeah, okay, yeah. You know, and, and, and then there's Mecha Gaiwako. You know, Mecha Gaiwako. Mecha, Mecha Gaiwako. As I like to call him. And some of his stuff is really good. And he calls it as he sees it. And generally speaking, most of his opinions are correct. He did melt the Victory Gundam in half, which he, he, will, he will answer for in the afterworld. Uh, because it's my personal favorite, and if I have any say, he will burn. Um, li figuratively, figuratively, he's still good. He's really good. Um, but I like Karakot the best. Um, either way, uh, you know, uh, two fingers salute for everybody there, and, and a crotch. Two fingers, and a, the Gundams are not anatomically correct. We're gonna do some leg, oh, leg day. Oh, God. All right, it's leg day. I'll be back, probably sapped of all of my motivation to keep breathing, but we'll get these legs done. Um, so far, articulation, pretty garbage, <laughs> but it's not a hand grenade. I, I mean, I, look, look, a little, a little of this goes a long way, but not a hand grenade. This dude, he's not going to be very poseable, but he's going to look awesome, and he's not going to fall apart if you breathe on him. So... Sort of, yeah, bonuses and detriments all at the same. And it's the the Gundam Factory's DMF-00 Gundam. It's cool as hell. Uh, oh, God, the texting. I wonder if the cat threw up my wife again or pooped on her. There was some incidents earlier. Usually it's the dogs causing the calamity. Tonight it was the cat. The cat. The cat pooped on Well, it didn't poop on her, but he had a problem with his glands. And then apparently he had a problem with his belly. So, I don't know if you got into my habanero pepper stash or not, but, yeah, the cat was causing some... Here's for the cat. Yeah, two-finger salute for you, kitty cat. Uh, driving a wife nuts. Okay, we're gonna put you down there, and two legs. We'll be back. And we're done. Yes. It's, uh, okay. <clears throat> it's a bit... It's a bit of a statue. <clears throat> However... This thing. Okay, come on. Let's put away the fingers. Let's stop being so immature. Ow! Okay. A lot of polycaps. <clears throat> uh, let's let's see here. Let's just. Sorry, we're gonna just a little. So, it's a bit of a statue. Um, here's a master grade. Gundam the Origin RX. Okay. Um, the color separation of the plastics is excellent. You got some little clear bits for the shoulders, head camera, the eyes. I'm not going to try to demonstrate the LED unit. We all know they don't work for shit. Um, like, really nice color separation on the kit. A lot of bits and pieces, um, you know, you got a little bit of uh, armor separation there in the back of the thigh. Um, the spats are beautiful. They're really nice. There's, there's just, there's some articulation in the feet. It can do the poses. <clears throat> Basically, Bandai is very literal, like most things Japanese. Um, <clears throat> you know, they make it. They make it do all the things, the very unarticulated, giant, hydraulically controlled robot. <clears throat> ah, God. Again. So, yeah, sorry, an arm fell out once again. Um, but it's, you know, it, it, it does... We're, well, it does the Colin Copernic. I mean, not that we're proud of that. <clears throat> but it does the thing, you know? It does the thing. It kneels, it points, it looks. It's big. It looks cool. It's hard to get inexpensive. 
Um, they've come down a little bit. My uh, crack, uh, plastic crack dealer, uh, my Gundam uh, proxy in, in Colorado said they've come down a bit since all the hype. Um, I, I'd actually recommend it. it. It's a fairly, it's a solid build. The thing is, it's built like a brick other than these forearms coming out. Now with the bust, you don't even get past here. You don't get the forearm and the hands with the bust. You just get from the red part up minus the forearms and the hands. This, you get the rest of the robot. Um, I totally get it. Totally get it. If you're a big Gundam fan, if you're a big RX fan, we need our beer. Um, I'd absolutely get it. I'll, I'll turn her, turn them around there. You know, it's, it's pretty nice. Um, I, I can't recommend not getting it. It, it, it's built solid. I used a little glue here and there just because I want to just be able to throw it in a shopping bag, take it to the office, put it on a shelf, and not worry about the cleaning people knocking it on the floor. So I added a little bit of Tamiya cement here and there. It doesn't really need it. If you're just going to pose it and throw it on a shelf, no cement needed. Snap build. There's nothing done. No decals, no panel lining, no clear, straight snap build. It's big. It's badass. Um, is it worth it? Come on guys, any hobby. Is it worth it? You know, like, is anything do we like it, so it's worth it. Whatever. If you don't think it's worth it, then don't get it. But, um, would I buy it? Oh, I bought it. Clearly. Um, I like it. There's a lot of different subtle shades of yellows and reds and blues and whites and grays and blacks and brownish, grayish, whatever bits and you know, you get a, it's, it's a lot more than a high grade. It's, it's as much exterior color separation sometimes as you get in a lot of more modern master grades. The inner frame, there is kind of sort of an inner frame. It's somewhere between high grade and master grade on the inner frame, but it's good. It has ratcheting poly caps though. <clears throat> so it holds its pose really well. It's pretty solid. Um, but ratcheting polycaps, if you ever looked at a ratcheting wrench and how it works, is there's metal teeth in the ring. Uh, plastic ratcheting has, you know, ABS ratcheting teeth. This is polycap ratcheting joints. So they're perfect now. If I played with this a lot, would it loosen up and turn into a sloppy noodle? Yeah, it would be Kraft macaroni after boiling it way too long. Most likely... Um, but none of us really play with these things all that much. We pose them, maybe a change of pose a couple times a year. I say you get a solid decade out of this of moving it once or twice a year. Other than that, hey, I mean, geez louise. It's just, it's just a ginormous RX. There we go. Yeah, 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 uh-huh. We want, oh my thumb, you, to buy me a little waist movement, not much. It's pretty basic, but what you end up with at the end of this build is one massive ass RX-78. Let's get our trusty old Harbor Freight tape measure. Oh, that, that son of a, is almost 15 inches high. It's 14 and three quarter inches tall. So, you know, obviously bigger than any perfect grade out there for the most part. Uh, is it the tallest 148 scale? I don't know. Unicorn might be a tiny bit bigger. But I think this is actually above the quality of a standard. And this is my first mega grade. So the whole ratcheting polycaps, they could all have them. I don't know. This is my first 148 scale. To be honest with you, I've looked at all the other 148 scales. I don't think any of them have this level of color separation. There's so many separate panels inlaid behind in front on top of next to other panels. There is so much color separation in this thing. I really feel it's the ultimate as far as mega size goes. I mean, honestly, I don't even want to. I, I don't even want to panel line it that much. Maybe a tiny bit on, on the yellow collar here. But uh, overall, I if I just, 
if I just gave it a dull coat, I think this thing would just pop even more and look even more amazing. But yeah, there, there you go. That's that's what we've got. That's it. Um, this video is getting long now, but uh, yeah, there it is. So, you know, happy new year tomorrow at midnight. And uh, for now, uh, that's it. We're done. This is the. Oh yeah. 148 scale Yokohama Gundam Factory exclusive and that's not a sticker okay that's color separated there's a yellow piece behind the red piece but uh, either way the 148 scale RX 78 F00 um, seen it here not first but there we go adios guys